work for it I'm on my shit And when I'm walking by I know the truth is He wanna know What's up YouTube? It's Michaelia. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm basically gonna be installing this wig. This wig is by Julia Hair and baby, I body this. Like, first of all, excuse the no nails. I'm missing nails. I know. I need to get my nails done. And two, it's giving very much like... Um, basically, I just added some like curls. I used my flat iron for it. So, is this still on? Oh, it dead is. Let me turn this off. But yeah, I use my um, I use my flat iron. This is about like one inch, I think. I had a flat iron before that I used to curl my hair with, and like it was a little bit skinnier. So I feel like the thicker the flat iron is, like the more bouncier and like bigger the curls are. And these are like just mad flowy. And I literally sprayed um free spray in the the wig so the curls could hold and it's still mad flowy so it's definitely not stiff i added no baby hairs i was going to but then i was just like yo like this really came off fire i don't even need baby hairs like cover what lace when i glued down the lace there was still like parts of the lace that i didn't put glue under or whatever so i need to go do that like soon probably not tonight but <laughs> for the most part it's done like these curls is really is doing it for me it's giving very much like i body okay like that's what it's giving but um yo these straps keep falling down with the house but yeah thank you julie here for sending me this wig um it's a 13 by 4 transparent wig i don't know what length it is i don't but this is very thick very thick okay um the only complaint is obviously it doesn't go from ear to ear like i made this side go ear and then this side is like it's, it goes right there so that's the only complaint i really have other than that this wig is fire like it's making me feel myself od and i really needed that because i haven't had my hair in a man long so i was like you know what, let me do my hair if you want this wig everything will be in the description box below so before we get started make sure you like comment and subscribe give me the 45k period we want to run to 50k okay and then 100k yeah, if you want to see how I did these curls and I saw this way, just keep watching. So as you guys can see, this is the box that it came in. It came with the wig cap and elastic band, but I don't even use that. And I already plugged and bleached the knot, so the wig is already like customized and everything. I just have to install it. As you guys know, I do the wig cap method. I'm gonna be doing that today because that's literally like the only method that gives you a flawless install and makes it look like scalp. Your foundation has to be bald before you install your wig because it's supposed to literally be like you have no hair. So I'm just gonna cut out um, some ears around my, I say ears. <laughs> I'm gonna cut out some holes for my ears. Yes, not cut out ears. And um, basically just spray down the wig cap with got to be free spray and just use my blow dryer so it can stay still. And I just do this with like two layers, I think, and then I cut the wig cap off and put makeup on. So. So basically what I'm doing here is using um, warm brown lace tint spray and spraying it inside of my wig like all over the lace so it could look like scalp you know because the transparent lace like it's really good to blend but it looks so much better when you have lace tint on because it literally looks like your skin color especially when it matches perfectly like it's the best thing ever and it's it's just easy to blend like it's literally just so easy to blend the lace into your scalp. So here I'm just taking off all the excess glue, makeup, everything that I sprayed on my head. 
with um, alcohol on a piece of tissue I do this for everything you have to have a clean like base make sure nothing is on your forehead when you're doing your um, install like when you're about to put your lace glue because it can really get messy and it'll just it will look bad like literally it will look horrible so yeah and the way I installed this wig I did three sections like I cut the lace into three sections I don't know why I always do this because it really doesn't make a difference like I don't have to do that but yeah I just had to do it. it makes it easier for me a little bit I'm not even gonna lie so I just glued down the lace in like three different sections so the first section I just um put some ghost bond I think that's ghost bond yeah I put ghost bond spread it out and make sure that it gets dry like clear before I um apply another layer because if it's not clear it's gonna turn like gray and dirty and like it's just it's gonna make it look weird like it's just not gonna lay flat it's just not gonna look good so make sure that every layer is clear before you apply another one and even before you put your lace down like it has to be clear before you put the lace down that's like the most important part I don't really do nothing special here like all I do is literally put the lace on top of the glue that I put on and I just take a comb and make sure like all the hairs is going back because I don't want you know the hairs to be messy and stuff that's literally the only thing I do I don't do nothing special so just put the lace on top of the glue and then it's gonna like melt into your skin so I'm just gonna be repeating the same step that I did for the first flap with the last two flaps so after everything is glued down the laces you know dry and everything then you guys are gonna see how I cut off the lace So here I'm taking my eyebrow razor. You guys already know I don't use scissors. And if you do, please stop. Like, it's not the thing to do. Like, just don't do that. Use um an eyebrow razor to, like, razor off the lace. It doesn't leave it, like, a straight line. You guys already know. Like, it makes it just like a jagged edge to the point where it can literally blend into your skin. Like, you can't see the straight line of the lace. And here I'm done, like, cutting the lace off. So I'm just going to be styling the hair. I did a side part. So I'm using my Shea's Bomb Hair Wax stick. You guys already know. Like, period. It's the best thing ever. Hot coating my hair so it can be flat. No bulky wigs over here. You guys already know all of this. Like, come on. Y'all should know. So basically after I finished hot combing my hair I was already done because like I already straightened my hair so this was basically the end of me styling my hair for um for now because at first I didn't know if I wanted to curl it or not so I just put concealer on my part this is like oh my god this part literally makes it look like scalp like this part you have to do this part but yeah after this it was just very much giving like I was feeling myself you guys can see I was gonna leave my hair straight but but <laughs> I don't know why like randomly I just decided that I wanted to curl my hair so you guys are gonna see me curling my hair with my flat iron because I don't know the straight hair was cute whatever but I was like you know what I don't I never curl my hair so let me do something different and yeah it came out mad nice the curls was fire like I used um free spray to hold the curls and it literally took me like 30 40 minutes to curl everything but it was worth it, it was cute it was cute
I'm just writing up and going. I squeezed on the beat and the beat got sick on. Okay, so finally, after like 45 minutes of trying to curl my hair, I was finished. I was mad hype. I was feeling myself. Like, I was singing everything. But I'm just gonna like basically brush with the curls with my fingers. I didn't wanna use a, a comb or a brush or anything because I wanted to look like very flowy, very loose, very like, you know, just natural. So I did it with my fingers and it came out really nice. Like, I love this hair. I love the hairstyle. I love everything. Like, I body this install. I was mad hype. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you with anything that you need to help with. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.